The tallest building in the Pittsburgh skyline, the U.S. Steel Tower opened in 1970 to serve as headquarters for the U.S. Steel Corporation. Featuring a distinctive triangular footprint, constructed using U.S. Steel developed Core 10 Steel, the building has 64 stories, each containing an acre of floor space and provides nearly 2.3 million square feet of leasable space. The building also is now home to the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center. But over the years, and faced with rising energy prices, aging mechanical equipment, and an ongoing need to keep leasable space full, Winthrop Management, the building's property management company, began looking for ways to reduce cost and attract and retain tenants. The building is 3 million gross square feet, 64 stories tall, uh, roughly 900 feet tall, and we, it's divided into four HVAC zones roughly 15 to 16 floors per zone. So we're pumping water from mechanical floors on 64, 63, 34, third floor, and down the concourse all over the entire building. It uses a tremendous amount of energy. In 2000, Winthrop began its first variable frequency drive retrofit project, addressing the pump motors responsible for the domestic water supply. At the time, the building's four water pumps were still being controlled by the original two-step drives, which were difficult to maintain. I knew that by providing adjustable frequency drives with soft start capability, it would eliminate a lot of the maintenance and repair of the motors while reducing energy consumption. So, I recommended the Danfoss model VLT HVAC drives. The drives are very well built. They're designed for the environment that, that we have. Uh, we've had no issues at all with them, so I can't really tell you much about service because we haven't needed any. According to Winthrop Management, the Danfoss variable frequency drives have eliminated the need to rebuild any of the pump motors. So when local electric company Duquesne Light, fueled by the passage of PA Act 129 in November 2008, offered a rebate program for businesses that replaced old-style motor speed throttling technology with variable frequency drives, Winthrop Management saw an opportunity to further improve the operation and reliability of its pump and fan motors. The PA Act 129 was the real driver behind putting in the drives. Basically, the rebates paid for the drives. In 2010, Winthrop's in-house engineering team installed 40 drives on the 30 to 250 horsepower fan motors that circulate conditioned air throughout the office areas to satisfy the temperature set point and ensure occupant comfort. Immediately the savings showed up. Uh, we, we did a zone at a time. I mentioned there are four zones in the building so we went a zone at a time and the, the way the old fans operated was basically 100% speed all the time. It was either on or off. There was no in-between. With the drives, it gives us the capability to vary the speed from zero to 100% and anywhere in between to satisfy the needs of the tenant for the, for the, the temperature of that space, of that zone. And that's where the energy savings has been. In 2009, for example, we used around 65 million kilowatt hours to push water through the building, to push air through the building, and to keep our tenants comfortable. And this is year round. So to last year, we used 43 million. We've also joined uh, what's called a demand response program, where if there is a, in the summertime, if if uh, the demand for electricity in the Duquesne light area begins to exceed what their capacity is, we get a call from the utility to reduce our demand. And with the drives, we're able to immediately slow our fans down and within literally a few minutes, drop the demand in this building without the tenants being affected much comfort-wise. And it greatly helps achieve the demand response uh, program for Duquesne Light Company. In total, more than 150 Danfoss VLT drives are producing more than $1.1 million in documented energy savings, with practically no drive downtime, which directly impacts the building's bottom line. Obviously, owners are interested in quick paybacks. And generally speaking, here three years or less 
has been our guideline. However, with the rebates, we've had paybacks of months, like three months. I mean, unbelievable. We install a drive and within three months, everything we paid for, all the labor, all the materials are paid for and we start getting the savings immediately. Today, the U.S. Steel Tower is an attractive property in Pittsburgh's commercial real estate market with 98% occupancy. Winthrop Management recently committed the U.S. Steel Tower to the Green Building Alliance 2030 District Challenge, a public-private partnership for the downtown Pittsburgh Building District, which sets a target of cutting the building's energy use in half by 2030. They actually used 2003 as a base year. And I, I can't remember right off the top of my head what the energy usage was in 2003, but my guess it would have been somewhere between 65 and 70 million kilowatt hours per year, which is what we typically used up until the start of installing these drives. Um, we are only four years, we've been a member of the Alliance for two years, and 2030 is still a long ways off, and we are over, well over halfway to our goal. We're two thirds to our goal already, and the tenants are more comfortable, and the owners are happy, and the property managers are happy, so it's, it's just been a win-win all the way around, and I'm thoroughly pleased with what we've been able to accomplish.